How many times have you passed by the people sitting on the streets with a plastic glass or a small cardboard box asking for some change? Have you ever noticed the number of people who neither have a home nor a job to help sustain themselves? Hello there, my name is Tianhang and my team and I would like to share with you those people who do not have enough disposable income to even afford a room and are forced to live on the streets. Despite many were provided with shelter during this pandemic, there are still a lot of people, especially families, who have big responsibilities to take care of their loved ones and are currently still suffering. And perhaps you might be wondering, do they even deserve it? Even if they did, do you think that they'll still be striving hard to survive in this world? Here's a regular phrase that homeless people will always hear. Go find yourself a job la! However, this advice is just pointless because people don't lose homes and jobs for no reasons. Some are also left homeless because of errant employers who have sconded and closed down their factories or have not paid salaries to their employees for up to four months, leaving them with no choice but to sleep on the streets. Lastly, divorce and abusive relationships are also among one of the major factors of homelessness. In particular, divorce can often leave one of the spouses homeless. When divorcing, the former family members usually try to divide the property they acquired in marriage. And in some cases, one of the spouses can find themselves deprived of any property. This includes a place to live in. Another possible reason for homelessness is domestic violence. Although it is usually considered that women suffer from domestic violence more than men, but it is not entirely true. As it is seen currently that there are a number of people of both genders preferring to live on the streets rather than stay in abusive relationships. So the question is, what challenges do homeless people in this country face? First, living on the street or without a proper shelter causes homeless people to be more vulnerable to lethal diseases. Next, homeless people face many problems beyond the lack of a safe and suitable home. They are often faced with reduced access to private and public services as well as vital necessities. For example, general rejection or discrimination from other people or increased risk of suffering violence and abuse. Now, just try to relate back to yourself. Have you ever experienced starving for a whole night or maybe even days? For most of us, there is just one obvious word that crosses our minds, money. Without a stable income, it causes people to become homeless and go through such a life that is truly unwanted by anyone. To top it all off, without proper nutrition, it will only make it more difficult for those who experience homelessness to get back on their feet. And so, during this global pandemic that has infected so many people, it is even more crucial that homeless people are taken care of before they fall victim due to their unfortunate circumstances. Thankfully, KSK, or known as Kachara Soup Kitchen, is here to do good and turn the tables. Kachara Soup Kitchen has started distributing food since 2006, providing sustenance and basic medical care for homeless and urban poor in Malaysia with the main motto, Hunger Knows No Barriers. Right now, my team and I are raising funds to help KSK and non-government organisations alike as they will take the funds and put it into good use to help the homeless. Kita Jaga Kita If you are curious about the organisation, there will be a link in the description below where you can find out more about their history, achievements and how they will be helping people on the streets during this pandemic. And there will also be another link in the description below where you can contribute to our society by making a donation to KSK.